Hi there Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. So in this video we're going to be talking all about Bosk. We're talking about the action figure Bosk and how he's evolved over the years all the way from 1980 to the present day. I've got lots to show you in this video, loads of different variants and things like that and we're going to look at the different sculpts as the years go by. So if you happen to enjoy the video don't forget to drop a like down below and we're going to begin with where it all started with the 1980s vintage Kenner Bosk. Okay then, so we're gonna start off with the mail away. So as many of you will know, back in the day on some of the card backs, you had a sticker on the front, which was the secret Star Wars figure offer. And the secret Star Wars figure was Bosk. And here he is in his display case. I've got the box that he came in, the figure obviously still in the baggie. You have the catalog and the little flyer that goes with it. So this is an awesome set. And this was probably the first chance that you got to get hold of the Bosk figure. Now here's three of my carded Bosks that I have in my collection. First of all, we have the Palatoy Bosk. So this is one of my favorite pieces in my collection. It only got a grade of 75, it could be better. You know, there's a few creases on the card and things like that, but that doesn't bother me too much. Then we have the 32 back there. Now I believe the debut card for Bosk was a 31A back. It's super, super rare, super expensive. I'll probably never get one. This is a 32 back, I believe. And this one here is the most recent one in my collection. This is a 48 back. And this one was graded 80. This one's in pretty good shape. So that just gives you an idea of some of the different card backs. There's loads of them to collect with loads of different offer stickers and things like that. And I'm always on the lookout to add more of them to my collection. But next we're gonna take a look at the loose figures and some of the differences between the paint apps and things like that. Okay then, so here we have a small selection of my loose and graded Bosks. And the first one on the left-hand side is a 90 graded uh, UKG 90. Uh, the figure got a 90, paint got a 90. This is a Hong Kong. And the next one is, this one's an 85 and this is a no Ku, So no COO, no country of origin. And then we have some of the loose ones. And I just wanted to put those there because I just wanted to show you the differences. Basically, you can see this one here has a different colored head to the rest of them. These ones are all olive green and this one's like an orange head. Ever so slightly different. I'm sure it comes down to the different factories and things like that. You'll also see some differences with some of the limbs. So this one here has got very, very dark green glossy limbs. Whereas this one here has got more of a matte finish on his limbs. And as you can see on this one here, he has the sort of glossy limbs. They're a slightly different color to these ones, but you can also see some discoloration on the legs and the arms compared to the torso. And that was very common with the orange head Bosk. So that just gives you a bit of an idea in my collection of some of the different Bosks that are out there. Uh, this one here as well is actually a paint error. You can see he's missing the paint, the red paint on his sort of neck there, which is pretty cool. So next up, we had to wait until 1997 in the Power of the Force 2 line to get ourselves our next Bosk, our new sculpted Bosk. And here he is. He's one of the better Power of the Force 2 figures by far. Really nice sculpt of Bosk. And he doesn't really have that macho man sort of steroid looking like some of the figures did back in the Power of the Force 2 line, certainly in the early days anyway. Now, I'm actually quite shocked when making this video that I do not have a Power of the Force 2 Bosk loose and if I do, I don't know where it is. So basically, I'm going to have to open this one because the carded version of this one I have here is, is not in great shape. The card's very dirty. It's a bit tatty. The bubble's scraped and things like that. So maybe I'm going to have to get myself a new example of a carded Power of the Force 2 Bosk and then I can open this one. But what I do have is the uh, first shot prototype. I recently acquired this. You can see that the head and the torso isn't painted but the limbs and everything are. So this is basically the prototype of that before it was painted, which is pretty cool. Now, as I said, the uh, sculpt was a decent sculpt. You can really see on the head there, much, much better. Let's do a bit of a close up on there. You can really see a really nice sculpt of Bosk and uh, the sculpting on the body isn't too bad either. As I say, they ditched that sort of steroid looking macho man figure from the uh, 90s. Pretty cool. Seven years later, in 2004, they updated the sculpt once again, and they had him more of in like an action pose. You can see that he's like leaning to his right and his arm is bent. Let's see if he's got any articulation on that arm. He has, he has a swivel arm. Now this figure was first released in the Saga series in this packaging here, and that was in 2004. And in the very same year, he was repacked into the original trilogy collection, which you can see there. So exactly the same figure. 
I think he's even got exactly the same stand, but just two different packaging in the same year. So <laughs> that was a bit odd, but there you go. 2004, that's the next time we had a Bosque. And, you know, pretty much 5 POA in terms of the legs and the arms, but he does have that extra sort of swivel on the elbow there, but nothing else at all. Still a decent looking Bosque and the sculpt's really good on the head and everything. So that's pretty awesome. So then next up in 2007 in the Vintage Saga collection, they released the Bosk Bounty Hunter on the classic card back. Now, this is the figure that I use in all of my videos. This is the best 3.75 inch Bosk that we have right now. Now I've said many times that they could potentially just repack him into the Vintage collection, but I would like to see a few improvements. Uh, for example, you know, he has trouble sitting down because this is a very thick piece of plastic. He doesn't have any hinges on the wrist or anything, which you'll see later on the Black Series figure. But the sculpt is absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, really, really amazing for its day. And look at the detail on the head there for this Bosque. Really, really good figure. And yeah, apart from, as I say, just a few minor tweaks, this figure is pretty much up to today's standards. Certainly in the sculpting and paint wise, it looks really, really good. The detail on all of his scales and you know, the sort of weathering effect that he has on his skin there. They've done a really, really good job. Here's the card back for it. It's the classic Bosk card back from back in the 80s. And there he is in the bubble looking pretty cool. I'm wondering there if my bubble is starting to yellow. I think it might be. It's quite common with the Bosk figure. Maybe I'll have to upgrade that. But this one is now starting to get pretty expensive. Now, there you can see the... Uh, on the back of the card there, you can see the original Kenner version there, which they always put on the back of those cards, which is pretty cool. And obviously I'm very lucky to have a few of those in my collection. And you've got the Vintage Saga collection logo at the top there. So there you go, that was 2007. Now they did repack him into the Vintage collection. He was part of the 2011 Imperial Forces three pack. I think uh, the Snow Trooper was in that pack and maybe IG-88, I want to say. I think it was those three in the pack. I do have that three pack, but it's packed away at the moment, so I can't show you. But that was 2011. But there was a figure in between there, and we're going to take a look at him right now. So then in 2010, they released the Clone Wars version. Now, this is, as you can see, the animated version of Bosk, looking exactly like he did in the animated TV show. He is an awesome figure. I wasn't really keen on the animated figures on a whole, but this one looks phenomenal. You can see he's sort of got that grisly looking face there. He's gritting his teeth, growling away. Awesome looking figure. Now, this was only available with the Slave 1. I think it was called the Shadows of the Empire line. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was that. And he came with the young Boba Fett and the Slave 1, basically, in Django Fett's Slave 1 colours. I think that is the Slave one that they've used to repack and repaint into the Vintage Collection. It's a huge ship and I would love it in my collection one day. Um, but I do have the figure. He is awesome. You can really see the face sculpt there. Really, really good. And as I say, this is the only time that we've ever had a animated style Bosk as an action figure. So then in 2015, they released him in the six inch Black Series line. This is number 10 in the blue line of the Black Series. And as you can see, he's looking awesome in his packaging there. Um, there's a little sort of drawing of him in the top right hand corner. Um, but essentially this is what they look like, the Black Series back then. And there's an image of him there on the back with either Fallon or Zuckus, depending on how old you are. And there it is. 2015 six inch black series Bosque and I'll just show you the figure in more detail I have reviewed him on the channel absolutely amazing figure it's got to be said it's one of the better black series figures it really is even to this day now this one is actually the uh, reissue that was released in 2019 in the archive line which I will show you the packaging for that in a minute this is how I managed to get the figure loose and he is a really really good figure now of course, it's the wrong scale for me. I do prefer this one, <laughs> but there's no getting away from the fact that this figure is really, really nice. I, I prefer the yellow on, on this figure, I must admit. I prefer this lighter yellow, but here he is. Um, I'm not too sure if that's you know overly screen accurate. I think the other one's a bit a bit more accurate, but he's got an articulated mouth. Um, it's, it's just an awesome looking figure. Um, if you're into the six inch line and you haven't got this figure, then you really really do need to get him because he is 
he is one of the better ones, that is for sure. So that was 2015 Black Series, and we got ourselves a Bosque super articulated in six inch form. Now in the same year, they did release a 3.75 inch version of Bosque, and it's an all new sculpt. Now, unfortunately, they went back to 5 POA at this point. Now, I think this guy was in the Saga Legends line, and I think he was in a two pack. I think he came with the IG-88 figure, if I'm not mistaken. But I just opened it up to get this guy out, and I think I gave the IG-88 to my son. But there he is. And it's again, once again, it's a really nice sculpt of the figure. Very much like the original Kenner version. You know, they've gone back to that sort of straight looking 5 POA figure, but with obviously with a lot more detail. And there he is. Decent sculpt, as I say, but just a shame that they reverted back to 5 POA. This figure was also repacked in the 2020 Bounty Hunter 5 pack. It was those box sets where Hasbro were basically saying, you know, this is going to be the end of 5 POA 3.75. This is your last chance to get them. And this figure was included in a Bounty Hunter 5 pack, which I, I didn't bother picking up, I must admit. As I mentioned earlier in the video, they did repack the 6-inch Bosque in 2019 into the Archive collection and... Here he is. I think the paint on the head sculpt there may be slightly different. Of course, they're going to differ from year to year, but there he is. And also on the back of the archive collection, it does show you the original release, which I showed you earlier on in the video. That's the 2015 version. And there he is. So there you go then, guys. That is the evolution of the Bosque action figure all the way from 1980, the original vintage Kenner, all the way to the 2015 Black Series six inch figure. But hopefully in the future, Hasbro will decide to give us an updated version of the 2007 Saga collection, whether it's just minor updates or an all new sculpt. I don't really mind, but I think it would be really cool to have a Bosque in the vintage collection proper. So there you go then, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's just a small amount of my Bosque focus. I have lots of other stuff in my Bosque collection, but this is the sort of Kenner stroke Hasbro figures throughout the years. 1980 to 2015 drop a like down below if you enjoyed the video thank you to my patreon supporters and channel members and we shall see you on the next one